Hello, today I show you how to use pencil sketch for the shop action and here are some of the results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly, some recommendations for optimal use of action. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least between 2000 and 4000 pixels for best effect. So, if you use photo with too small resolution, just open the photo, then go to the image, image size, and just change the width or height value to 2000 pixels and more. And before your session, you need to do these steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mode, and check the RGB color and add this channel. And last step, just for CS5 and high versions, click on menu icon at the right. Select the panel options. And check the add copy to copy it less in groups. Okay, that's all. Now, how to use action. First, open your photo. And one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, this view, you just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's okay. Okay, the next step, open brushes file. For that, go to the edit, Presets, Preset Manager, in Preset Type select Brushes, click Load, then go to the Load folder and make double click on Pencil Sketch Brushes file. Click Done. Next step, open the Patterns file. For that, go to the Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, but now in Preset Type select Patterns, click Load, go to the Load folder and make double click on Pencil Sketch Patterns file. Click Done. Next step, open the action file. For that, go to the window, Actions. Click on menu icon at the right. Select the load action. Go to the load for the last time and make double click on pencil sketch Photoshop action. OK. Next step, create a new layer and name it area. And please don't use the caps lock. Now you need to paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. For that you can use a brush tool and you can use quick selection tool or magic wand tool. And also you can use some of lesser tools. Uh, for this image I'm going to use brush tool. You can use a soft or hard brush. I'm going to use a soft brush. You can use any colors. And just paint where you want to focus. It's very easy. Also, if you want, you can uh, create little more space for the effect. For that, you can use crop tool. Just select the crop tool and scale the frame. Okay, and now. You just need to go to the Actions panel. If you close the Actions panel, go to the window, Actions. Find action on the action list. Open the folder section, open the action, and select the action inside the folder. And just click Play. But before you click Play, please make sure that the opacity and flow or brush tool is 100%. And that the normal mode is selected. 
Ok, click play. Wait a few minutes, let Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm not a scroll this step. Ok, and when action finishes work, you can edit the final composition and now I show you how to make this. In final composition we have four folders and back color. Uh, if you make double click on this layer you can change the background color. I recommend using the light colors for this action. Okay, and first folder is your object elements. This folder contains many folders with object elements. It's uh, main hatching, add more details folder, small pencil lines, contour pencil lines, external hatchings, straight line plus additional line, additional layers, uh, more shadows and lights. Okay, let's start from main hatching folder. Uh, this folder contains many layers, uh, actually 10 layers with main hatching effect. If you want to erase uh, some of space of any of these layers, just select the layer mask, uh, select the brush tool and select the black color and just paint where you want to erase this uh, effect. You can erase any of these layers. And also, if you want to erase all these main hatching layers, just select the folder layer mask, select brush tool with black color, and just paint where you want to erase main hatching layers. If you want to make visible uh, this effect, just change color to white and paint again. Please pay attention that you need to paint only on layer mask, not on the layer. Ok, and also in this folder you can change brightness and contrast of main hatching. And also you can add the color tone to main hatching. Ok, next folder it's add more details folder. This folder contains only two uh, layers with more details. You can erase some space of this uh, layers or you can erase all these more details folder. Next folder it's small pencil lines. This folder contains five uh, layers with small pencil lines and you can change the color of these pencil lines for that just make visible uh, color icon. And just make double click on color what you want to change. Okay, and you can do uh, the same with other layers. Next folder it's contour pencil lines. Uh, this uh, folder contains the contour pencil lines layers. Also you can erase these uh, layers if you want. It's very easy. And you can add the color tone to pencil lines And of course you can change brightness and contrast of contour pencil lines. Next folder it's external hatchings. You can change the colors of these layers.
next folder it's straight line plus additional line you can change the color of straight lines and you can um, add the additional straight line to your composition uh, for that just make visible this layer and move the straight line if you want to rotate and scale this line you can use Ctrl plus T combination or you can go to the Add, Free Transform and just rotate and scale this layer. Also you can duplicate this layer for that go to the Layer, Duplicate Layer. And if you want to change the color of this line, just make double click on the layer icon, select the color what you need. Change the opacity of this layer. And the next uh, folder is additional layers, more shadows and lights. Uh, this folder contains only three uh, layers, but this is very important layers if you want to make a realistic composition. Okay, next folder is additional layers. This folder contains paper texture folder and real light shadow plus soft color tone uh, folder. Let's start from paper texture. This folder contains two paper textures. Actually, it's a combination of two paper textures. Uh, you can change the opacity of paper texture too. And also you can move uh, this texture. For that, just make double click on pattern overlay and just move this paper texture okay and the next uh, folder real light shadow plus soft color tone uh, this uh, folder contains shadow frame dark gradient gradient mask light gradient light fill you can hide in this uh, layers and change the real light shadow effect. And the last layer in this folder is soft color tone, very useful folder. You can change the color. If you want to make clear and black and white composition, just hide this uh, layer. Okay, and the next folder contains 10 color effects. And the last folder, it's color and contour settings of all image. In this folder, you can add the gradient to all image. If you want to change the colors of gradient, just make double click on layer icon, click on the gradient and make double click on the color what you want to change. You can change the angle of this gradient, you can scale and of course you can change the opacity of this gradient. Next layer, it's very useful if you want to add original color to all image, you can change the opacity of this layer. Next layer, hue saturation of all image. And the next layer, you can add 
the photo filter to all image. If you want to change the photo filter, just make double click on the layer icon, select the photo filter from list. You can change the density of this photo filter. Next layer very useful if you want to make black and white composition. Of course, you can add the color tone to all image. And you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. Okay, it's already. Here is a result. Looks very realistic. So now you just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.